Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am using this blood sugar palette. Whoop whoop. I am getting a hype from all the sugar in my blood. Yes, it is true. I love this palette. So I created this fuchsia pink. I had a bit of red, maybe a bit of purple. I, don't, I just kind of started going in and getting crazy. And so I created this eye look. So let's talk about the Jeffree Star palette for a little while. This presentation, absolutely the bomb. I love this presentation. I love the little locks on it. How cute is that? Very cute, very cute, and very secure. So the palette sizes on here are smaller than his um, other previous palettes, but who cares? I got more. I got more colors with smaller smaller pan sizes and the pan sizes are still really big so I mean I'm good with having this size pans and getting more colors who wouldn't want that the mirror is fantastic you can see that it's got the Jeffrey symbols on it but let's go back to the colors the colors are off the hook I mean you can keep creating with this thing forever and never have a duplicate eye so this morning I went in, I used some glucose, some sugar cane, some cake mix, some ouch. So four out of the six on the top line. On the second line, I used some root canal. On the third, I used some cherry soda and some coma to create this eye look. So I just kept playing with the different colors and I really love it. Again, the downside is that it's got a ton of fallout and you just have to be prepared for it. But the thing with these is it's really pigmented. So you may want to lay down a paper towel over where you're going to tap your brush because you are going to need to tap your brush. Even though I did tap my brush, I did get some fallout. So I swept it away and I've got a little bit of a pink glow. Okay, my highlighter looks a little bit pinker today. But it does have an enormous amount of pigmentation in it. One of my girlfriends said that it had um, actually changed the color of her brushes, which I got a kick out of that. Now, most of the brushes I used today were black, so I'm fine, with the exception of my blending brush, and that was in a, that was white. It is now pink, but that's okay, because who doesn't love the pink color that it ended up being? But yeah, so I really did enjoy this look. I think it matches well with my fuchsia dress and my little necklace with the little flowers on it with some pink. And it was just fun, fun, fun. So I had been using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette like nobody's business. However, I think Jeffree Star just is gonna make me have a lot of springtime colors with these pinks and fuchsias and purples and reds. I just think it's great for spring. So I have gotten over the fact that I was pouting since I ordered this before Valentine's Day and it took until the day before Easter for me to get it. I pouted a lot in the last couple months, but now that I've been playing with it today, um, I think my pouting is over. I'm just gonna have a great time creating. So if you do want to see how I created this look, you're in the right spot, stay tuned. Now that spring has sprung, and I've got my blood sugar palette. We're gonna play with this one today. Yay! Oh. Sorry. I'm just not a morning person. Mm -mm. It's not my jam. It's not my jam. I'm gonna use some pinks and purples today. So we're gonna start out with sugar cane. That's gonna go near the brow bone or the brow. Every time I hear sugar cane, I want to sing the CNH pure cane sugar from Hawaii, sweet Hawaii, grown from the sun. A commercial from my childhood. Okay, that is a really pretty color. Now we're going to go into what is everyone's normal transition or not transition, transition with cake mix. And I have no commercial song for cake mix. Yay! 
You're like, thank gosh, because we, you know you can't sing, we know you can't sing. Yet you hurt our ears anyways. Almost looks like it matches my background perfectly. All right, we're doing water. Rob's out of town. I can't make coffee, I suck. Rob comes back into town today and I'm excited because that means coffee's back on. All right, I'm gonna take the color ouch. I always wonder how he comes up with these names. We're gonna get ouch in the transition. No, I'm not. It's the crease. Okay, note to self, I've got some liquid vitamins and whew, they're in a mango flavor and I am so ready for me to be over these liquid vitamins. I spent a lot on them so I'll keep using them because they, I mean, they're good for me. But dang, I'm tired of tasting mango-ish vitamins throughout the day. All right, right now I'm gonna go ahead and stop and blend these colors in. You can see a difference when you do take time to blend how pretty everything kind of goes together and how choppy it's it is when you don't blend sometimes I'm in a rush and I just forget to blend or I forget to blend and technically I should be in a rush this morning so those colors are really nice together I was just smelling if they are like cake mix. They're not. No cake mix. I didn't use any of the colors I had hoped for. I got sidetracked with myself. Hmm. Are we shocked? No, we're not. All right, how about we pick up, I love this color root canal. I do. I love it. So let's pick up some root canal. Wow, that's pigmented. <laughs> Mommy likes. I do remember one of my friends saying, Hi, Ashley. I finally got the palette. That these colors dyed her brushes. So my blending brush will be dyed, it sounds like. Okay, wow. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really loving that fuchsia-ish kind of color. I was hoping to use this bright red, but I think with the fuchsia, I'm gonna lose it. So I'm gonna pick up cherry soda and see what cherry soda does on. Okay, I was not expecting cherry soda to pop. Cherry soda is popping. Wow, these are amazing. At this point of layering, I think I'm just, I just keep trying colors. Okay, I really, really like this palette. I've got an outer V brush from Makeup Geek, and I think I'm going to pick up this color here, Coma. I may need to use my mirror and get real close, because I'm a little old lady. And I'm almost afraid that this fallout I have with the red is going to be a hot mess when I go to mo remove it. Alright, I think I'm going to pick back up the color. We'll try sugar cane first. And I'm going to take some of this glucose. Stuff is tons of fallout. Ah, mommy don't like tons of fallout. Oh my god, 
pigmented and fall out. See what I mean? I mean, it's just, it is off the hook. All right, I'm gonna try to sweep away some of this fallout. And I keep talking about the fallout because that stopped me somehow from, I think I need to tap my brush more than normal. But these colors are so fun, so fun. All right, I'm gonna pick up a pencil brush for Makeup Geek. I'm gonna start out with the color Root Canal. And then we're gonna come in with this color Coma. I tapped a few one one of my brushes on top of my Anastasia and you can see I've added a nice mess. I think what I'm gonna start doing with these palettes, because you never know when one is gonna be crazy, is put down paper towels everywhere. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and since almost all my powders are set and done, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Scandinavia finishing spray. And I'm almost out, so it's really having a hard time pumping out. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my Thrive Cosmetics Lauren pencil. That's the one that is in black. My contour in Trist. I kind of darken that up a bit. And didn't I? I think I'm gonna go more with the peachy pink in this palette. And this one's from Makeup Geek. And then I'm gonna use it. Nice. Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. And I think I want to use this color Kitty Cat. I really love this palette. If you want to glow, get your glow on with Nicole Guerrero. And then I think I'm debating on a really bright lip today. All right, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D. I know she's got a lip liner. I'm going to pick up the one called Coven. I believe that's going to work. I just realized these lip liners are the first time, or this lip liner is the first time I've ever tried Kat Von D's. So that went on really creamy and neither of these kind of match. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so we're going to pick up the NYX Liquid Suede. That's really popping. Now we need to go on for the eye lashes since I'm bouncing all over the place. And of course, I'm using my new favorite, Butter London, because everything's better with butter. London. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyelashes. I'm not gonna and then I'll go do my hair and then I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching this video using Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar Palette. I absolutely enjoyed the palette with the exception of all the fallout that went everywhere. I got pink and red pixie dust everywhere. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.